sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by my name is boyd i'm a sports betting market analyst with oddsjam.com where we teach you how to bet like a pro now today we're talking about alternative lines derivatives and the markets that that all covers so we're going to talk about you know defining that and also showing you how to use the tools to find the profitable positive ev bets using the odds jam tools it's a lot of fun when you're making money so let's take a look all right, guys, before we get into the alt markets and derivatives, let's uh, talk about uh, saving 20% off at OddsJam. You can use BOYD20, B-O-Y-D-2-0. You can use the QR code here. Get that QR code scan and uh, enter BOYD20 to save 20% off the first two months at OddsJam. And your subscription is you get all the data, all the information. And again, what a better time to use it with hockey, basketball, football, college, all everything's going on right now. So what a, what a good time to use that and get started to be profitable in your sports betting. Okay, here we go. So let's first of all define an alternative market or a derivative. Now, first of all, we're going to start with the mainline markets. And if you recall, a mainline bet is always money line, point spread, or total. So very simple. Those top three are mainline bets. Anything after that is considered considered a derivative or an alternative market. So for example, first quarter money line, first half money line, first half total, team totals, anything else that you might run across or come across in the markets that you can bet on. And uh, the reason why this is important is because the sports books offer these wagers and they can be derivatives or an alternative line from these. So if you see the, the mainline markets going certain directions, many times you're gonna see the alternative markets or the derivatives also fluctuate and change. And when you have pricing change, you can have some of the public books that aren't uh, as, as bright and quick to move and identify opportunities in the market to take advantage of pricing. So for example, you see the over making a price change here from 227 down. So you have a little bit of a downward trend here on this Milwaukee Bucks Miami Heat game. So, you know, does that mean you're also going to have a first half total adjustment? You know, does that also mean that the derivative or the alternative market for that Bucks game would change as well? You know, it's something to keep your eye on. And again, uh, Odds Jam does a great job of keeping you abreast of the instantaneous and real time data change with the markets and, uh, what I want to do next is show you specifically um, the food chain or the uh, the blockchain, so to speak, of the odds market and the alternatives and the derivatives, because that's where you can find a lot of good value. And I'll give you a couple of great examples of uh, how that can benefit you. OK, so here we are at the uh, I guess the slated games. deal. You'll see the odds jam has the, uh, the, the the lineups for the, the day's games. And uh, we'll just pop into any one of these. For example, we'll take this Hornets Knicks game. As you click on the game, it's going to open up the markets it's going to open up the mainline markets and it's going to open up the alternative lines of derivatives you can see all those across the top and of course you can drop that down and find even more derivatives and more alternative markets here so you have uh, all kinds of uh, options and choices based on quarters halves team totals uh, there's all kinds of things you can get into I'm trying to open this up and scroll down to give you an idea of how vast this is you can see all the different markets you know first quarter third quarter <laughs> money line totals Lots of opportunities, right? Well, let me show you why that's important. Is because the tools here, uh, as you get down, you find these alternative lines. And so if you want to find some alternative point spreads, this is sort of like options trading, sort of like options buying, where if you're in the money, out of the, out of the money, calls, puts, things like that, to where if you feel like um, maybe the mainline bet is at a certain level, if you feel like it's going to be quite a distance away from that, either in point spread or total, you can find some value in the pricing. Okay, when I talk about value and pricing, here, here's what I mean. So if, if the mainline, uh, you know, market is at minus 12, uh, maybe you can go up or down the scale here based on value of these points. So is the value of a point at minus 11 and minus 12 really that big of a deal as far as being 5 cents, 14 cents, you know, difference in price? You know, so you'll, you'll find that some of these alternative markets are going to be comparatively here with the pinnacle, you know, lines or some of the other, um, uh, you know, market making books and if you can find value uh, uh, on either side it's really what you're looking for it's really how you're trying to identify you know um, a, a bet inside of these regular markets um, to to use to your advantage and so again these are all opportunities at the sports book and so you what well, my point is you can get better pricing um, and, and if you find value here and in certain levels, just like in options trading, it's sort of how far out, uh, 
of the money do you want to go? You know, what, how far do you want to stretch it? If you think this score is going to end by, you know, a 20 point win by the Knicks, you know, you, you can get some plus odds money. You, you can go to, to, to different books and get plus odds and, and really cash out and do, you know, do well. You can see here, Pinnacles at minus 162, you know, right there's an opportunity at minus 150. So, you know, you're, you're getting a little better price, um, you know, by, by going, in and out of the mainline bet range and so that's what alternative markets and derivatives are they're they're deriving from the mainline bets they're deriving from the main markets and so again you have all these opportunities and again odds jam provides this in, in the um uh, positive ev page so they come to you and my best piece of advice is to know how to navigate these sites so you can get to them very quickly because certainly you know the minus 110 uh, odds may not be there. If, if these guys are at minus 117, you can pick up at minus 110. You need to know how to get to this particular sports book right away and find that alternative line or that derivative line. So that's another piece of advice I'd add is, is get to know the sports book so you can navigate it very, very quickly. Uh, because these markets can change and they, they realize they made a pricing error. They have an outlier and that's where you can take advantage of it and be very, very profitable. All right, guys, there you go with alternative markets and derivatives. It's a very positive way to make money and use the other markets to find outlying prices using the tools at Odds Jam and uh, very, very profitable. So uh, please use that. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Happy to answer those. Uh, if you have other topics you want me to cover here at Bet School, try to give you some betting education to increase your ROI, please uh, let that, uh, that be known down below as well. And as always, make sure you like and share, and let's go make some mathematical.